Hello and welcome. In today's video tutorial, I'd like to show you how you can transform some of your landscape photographs into something a little more surreal, something like this. Yes, we're going to be adding mist to our landscape photos. It's coming up. So we're back in Photo Director and today I'm going to show you how you can add mist to some of your landscape photos to transform them and give them that kind of surreal effect. I'm Harvey Roberts, this is Permanent Tourist in Helsinki and today we're creating mist. And I know what you're thinking, we're just going to use the blur tool. We're not going to use the blur tool and I'll show you why in the video tutorial. However, I'm going to show you how you can manipulate another unused tool in Photo Director to give us the effect that we're looking for. As always, watch out for tips and tricks throughout the video tutorial. Let's open up Photo Director. Let's get misty. I'm not sure I should have said that. <laughs> well, here we are in Photo Director. Let's click on Edit. It will open up for us in our expert mode. So make sure in expert mode here, go to the top left into file and create an empty project. I'm going to call this Misty. I'm going to leave all the settings, but the background I'm going to put to white. So click on solid color. I'm going to leave mine at white and click OK. So let's bring in our photo. So in the left hand side here, add new layer, this little square here. Add photo photo layer from folder here and I'm going to choose this ocean picture that we have here. Now what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some mist that is just on this area of the water that we see here, not actually on the ocean but just on this area. And I'm going to try to avoid going over the, the rocks so we're just going to paint on this area here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the left again and create an empty layer. So just click on add empty layer like so. Go over to the right hand side to our tools menu and we're going to click on the fourth one down which is the pen tool. Now in the pen tool in the options we're using an airbrush. And I'll explain that in a moment. And we have got a size of 35 which is this size as you can see here at the side of it. I'm not going to take it any bigger because this size is perfect for going around just inside of these stones for this picture. Now modify the size accordingly to the photograph that you're using or what you're trying to do. If you're using trees or landscape then you could make it a little bit bigger. Now the opacity is set at 65 which is exactly what we need. We don't need to go any more than this. And look at the blending mode. I've got the blending mode set to screen. And the reason we're doing that is it, the screen allows the background to come through, which is this ocean. Mist is a little bit see-through, so that's what we're after. Now we've got the color here set up and I've got mine set at 203 on the red, green and blue markers here. You can see that or, or on the black at 80%. So just slide up and down because mist is, ne is not really pure white. It, it, it's kind of got a grayish color to it. So I'm setting mine at about 203, 80% on the black. And I'm going to click OK. Now all we're going to do is we're just going to paint. Now the thing is with the airbrush tool is that once you click and keep your mouse pressed, it keeps adding color. Let me increase the size and show you if you've never used one before. So this is how big this is big. If I click and hold my left mouse button now, it'll just keep adding color all the time. And as soon as I move my mouse, you'll see it it's gradually keeps adding color all the time like this, see? Now the problem is you've got to keep your left mouse button clicked because if you let go, like I have done now, and I try to go and add more color, it puts color on top of what you've done, like so. See that white bit there now? That is incredibly difficult to fix. So you want to avoid that. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to control Z and control Z to get rid of that. Drop my size back down to 35 there, like so. So what we do is we just keep adding color. Just try to be careful you don't go over it. It doesn't matter if we go over it because we can, we can fix it later by reducing it. So it's not really a problem. You just want to try to avoid. The main thing is don't let go of your mouse button because then you'll have problems with it. So I'm going to start 
here and I'm going to go and paint it. Now, if you see how I paint, I'm going to go, I'm going to go kind of left and right. I never go up and down because it causes problems as well. So you want to be going left and right, kind of like you're layering it on. So let's start and I'll go like this. I'm just going to go over here and, and I'm just going to go like this, left and right. Now, as you go left and right, you see, it doesn't add color on top of the color that we've already put there because we've still got the mouse button pressed. So let's just fill that in like so and go left and right, left and right like this. And the reason we don't go up and down is because for this picture, if we go up and down, it would cause a line to be shown on the rocks, which is going to be difficult to get rid of. So what we're going to do is we go left and right. So that circular feeling is is, is put on the stones. Because if you see, if I go just straight across, it leaves a straight line and we don't want a straight line. Rocks don't have straight, <laughs> really don't have straight lines as such. And uh, we want to try to avoid that. Excellent, like this, left and right, left and right. And just keep going in and left and right. Now, when we we're actually, turn this into mist. Don't worry if, you, if you've not got too close because the, once we start adding it and turning it into mist, it will blend it in and nice. Now I've gone a little bit left and right on this because it's dark and I, I'm just going to add a little bit of variety there. See that just to make it so it's not actually a straight line. You want to avoid any straight lines that you see except for this bit because obviously the sea is going to come in and we want to brush we're going to brush that out anyway but as for everything else that looks pretty neat i've tried to avoid everything else so what we're going to do is now is we're going to turn this into mist like it doesn't look like mist but what we need to do is turn it into mist now you're probably thinking to yourself yeah we'll use the blur filter <laughs> okay actually we're not going to use the blur filter but i'm and the reason is I'm going to show you right now. So on the tools menu here, this little magic one, the guided tools, make sure we're still on our layer two here. Click on the guided tools into photo effects. And we're going to go to the, I'll show you the blur tool and what happens. So this is the blur tool and it looks, yeah, that's all right. So let's change the blur degree, increase the blur and look what happens to the edges of the, picture or the what you've painted on you've got this little black outline that's come there that is really horrible i don't know why it's doing that but blur tools and i tried all the different types of bokeh and everything else and it's still there it doesn't it doesn't go away it's, it, it this is, makes it even more, worse so we're going to click on cancel so the blur tool is definitely not the tool to use for this. Now, I found an absolutely wonderful way of doing this. So this is what we're going to do. You see this brush effect here. It's called change focus underneath the blur tools. Click on change focus once. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this about three. You need to do it at least three to four times, I think. So what we do is we take the focus distance and we take it up. So it's not focusing on the picture. It's focusing somewhere else. So change the focus distance and you'll see this blue go all the way up. See, it's going away from our picture and it's going over onto the background like so all the way to the top. It disappears. Now blur it and you'll see that it blurs wonderfully. See, it's blur, not got that black line outside. See, that is really nice. I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to do this again. Change focus. Focus distance, take it all the way all the way up, out of the way. Thank you very much. Blur this degree all the way over. Blur it some more and see, now it's looking like mist. Look at that. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to take another look at this and think, yeah, maybe let's try one more, but we don't actually have to do it. We'll try one more and see what it looks like. Take the distance up and then blur it some more. Now you'll be getting diminished results over a certain period of time with this. This is a little bit, I think that's about as good as I'm going to get with this. So I did it three times and there you go. We've got mist. Now all we need to do now is just refine this. You can see that where I said we did that little line here on the left hand side. See how that's blended in now. That's made it look a lot better. So what we're going to do is we're just going to reduce some of these things. 
So close this one up now. We don't need that. Now, if you go to the fifth one down, which is the eraser tool. So click on the eraser tool. Now make sure you're using in the tool selection, the brush, because the other two, one is a pencil and one is a block and they're too harsh. They're, they have really hard lines. So I'm going to use a brush. I've got the opacity at 10% because if you go too much, you'll just, it, you'll ruin the effect. And what we need to do is we need to just brush out just some of the areas that it's just gone over too much. And the thing is now you want to start from outside of the, of your picture of, of what you've painted and brush inwards. Don't try to brush from inside out because you'll, it'll leave a circle and it, it doesn't work. So always go from outside and go in. So I'm going to drag across like this. I'm going to do it two or three times just to reduce that area on there. And the same on this rock here. See this? I'm going to start from over here and paint inwards like this with, with this eraser and just brush in until it covers it and it looks really interesting. If you try to do it from inside out, you'll get that circle and that it'll be too difficult to get away. Now, because there's two rocks here, we're going to start right in the center and, and, and rotate it, spin it a little bit because we want it to get the effect that the mist is just touching the top of these. So I'm going to start from the top here and I'm just going to work my way around like this and down to the bottom here. And then I'm going to do it one more time like this, just to bring a little bit of that stone back. And the same here with this one, bring that back a little bit like, like so one more time. Increase the opacity if you feel you need to. I f don't feel I need to do this. Here I'm going to brush from outside, brush it along and inwards like so. Release my mouse button, brush it again several times because we've got the opacity at 10%. It means we can do it and bring it back gradually. And the same over here, bring this in like so. Drag it down a little bit like that and on this piece here as well. There we go. How cool is that? And there you have mist on your landscape. Now, if we just take this away, this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. Now, if you th still think that this may be a little bit too harsh, you can drop the opacity as well here on the left hand side. So drop the opacity down if you if you feel that you need to I'm not going to do that because I kind of like that. And the reason that we had our screen blending option, it was allowed the, 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 the water to come through. It's very, very cool. I like that. <laughs> How super cool is that? Give it a try yourself on any of your landscape photos, especially if you've got some kind of forestry as well. That is really nice. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please consider subscribing. Give us a like, ring the bell to be notified every time I upload new content. Go check out my channel for all things Cyberlink and more. That's my rant for today. Have a great day. Stay safe, people.